Hey, this is Elijah with Breakdance, and in today's video, I'm going to show you Breakdance's tooltip element. Traditionally, to add tooltips on your website, you've needed either a dedicated plugin or a third party JavaScript library. But Breakdance includes a tooltip element out of the box. Let me show you how it works. You can see here we have a couple of call to action buttons here. Let's go ahead and add a tooltip to this Contact Us button. So we're going to click Add at the top left, and we're going to search for Tooltip. Once we drop that in, you can see that the tooltip element is actually a container. We can put anything we want inside of this tooltip. So let's drop that button into the tooltip element, and then we can select the tooltip element and define the actual tooltip. We can put something like, we're excited to hear from you, and go ahead and close that out. And now when we hover over the button, we get the tooltip. We can also leave the tooltip on all the time in the builder in case we're adjusting styles. Let's jump over to the design tab and we can adjust the placement. Let's go ahead and move it to the left of that button. And you can see it immediately shows us a preview of what that's gonna look like. Let's move it up to the top and then back to the bottom. We can adjust the offset. This is gonna be the tooltip's distance from the parent element. We can also adjust the background color and we have a bunch of typography settings to customize the typography within the tooltip as well as padding control. So if we want this tooltip to be really big, we could add say 32 pixels of padding all the way around, but we'll go ahead and clear that out. And then the last adjustment we can make here in the design tab is our border radius. So if we wanted more of a pill shape, we could increase that. Or if we want sharp corners, we can just set it to zero pixels. Again, this is Elijah from Breakdance, and that's a quick look at our tooltip element. Thank you for watching.